Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at the MV08 or MV08 a drum machine. So this is based on a classic drum machine, you're going to know the sounds. I'm going to take you through the whole thing. It's going to be quite quick, so <clears throat> you have an insane amount of control over everything. And it's very, very, very easy to program. Uh, right, so here we have, we have four main sections here. We have our actual pattern section. And then you have your effects. Uh, you have like uh, insert effects and master effects, and then you have your your pattern control page basically, and then you have your settings page where you can set up your audio, your MIDI, your link. And um, this here is your overall volume, your master volume sort of thing, <clears throat> and then your obvious transport controls. Okay, so let's start. So let's start with a bass drum. Here you have your pattern grid, your representation of your pattern grid, and you can have up to four full bars per pattern. Here is your pattern page here. So you can have up to bank H. Okay, we're in bank D, uh, B, sorry, because we're going to start completely fresh. And then you can have up to 16 patterns per bank. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yes, you, so you have a lot of banks and a lot of pans to play with. But we're going to start with a very basic, a basic blank pattern. So, down here is your step sequence enter, entering. So, we just put in four there. And we're going to get a basic four on floor B. Okay, now, while we have this selected, we can alter the tone and decay for this particular drum here. Okay, so so let's select snare now. Okay, let's make it a bit more cool. Now this will affect Only the snare while we're editing snare. Okay. And the pitch. And the general level of the snare. But say, for instance, we want to just. Let's put another. That's real. Okay. Now, if we, if we double tap. <coughs> We've added an accent to that last snare. Okay, and if we go to our pattern page there, you can see that Okay, you can see that you can accent the control of the accent as well. If we long hold on any beat at all. You can control the level, the pitch, the pan, reboot, the delay, tone, and snap. You can control everything just for that one hit. So, for instance, Right, okay. So I double tap to get rid of that again. And let's add some hats now. So. <clears throat> Any double tap will mute. You get a line across and on mute, double tap again. So now we're in this, let's start. Sound a bit nice with a bit of delay.
stupid or global. You see what's going on there we can we can we can program in our, our our patterns just like that making fine adjustments to every single every single not just every single drum but every single hit so if we go to now uh, our pattern page you will see here that <clears throat> our step count is 16 so to increase up we can either double it there and just copy it in Okay, or we can we can go back to our one, or we can put in fine step control like like this and have it blank. So you see, we could just for that, like say for instance, pattern. Well, this is pattern one, but if we did like if we went now to pattern two, right? I tell you what we'll do let me show you how cool this could be because you can see that you can go up to you can just copy and paste and then you can make fine adjustments to anywhere in your pattern scale there okay in your like in your pattern so one two three we'll see we're in pattern three there and that's that and then we could make adjustments just to pattern three so let's go back there but let's go to <clears throat> let's take these off so and then time there let's copy okay let's copy this pattern so copy and let's go to pattern two and paste and we'll, we've pasted our thing into pattern two but for pattern two let's just have it for a step count of three okay so that would be okay so you've got you could do things like this So you can set up complex rhythms and stuff like that and then once you're recording into your door you're just gonna be able to control it like this you so you can't you can't set it up so it'll play this as a, in like song mode yet so I'm, and I don't even know if that will be weird because that's I don't think that's really kind of what it's about you know you can just jump between patterns and stuff like this so for instance to make it to, to, to make that easy we could go for instance let's copy copy that again let's paste it there <clears throat> and let's do it like this let's just start to move along our patterns as we want it to change sort of thing so we could go well, let's start with pattern we'll make life easier and then we could we could add bits and pieces into that pattern if we wanted to so we could add go to our pattern sequencer now our extra bits we've just put in are then there okay so now you have your pattern resolution 16 or 32 means you can you can see you can add finer control over your over your beats sort of thing if we did this we could do so it's going to speed everything up so you might want to open it up slow it down half and you've got you'll have finer resolution control um step count we've covered you can add them individually like this or you can just duplicate the whole thing swing is kind of so self-explanatory um this again is self-explanatory there you have your link you have your audio 
So yeah, I've got background audio on, choke, open hi-hats with closed hi-hats. We all know what that does, don't we? So that's kind of like your... So if we had... That kind of effect, you know. Um, let us see. I think I've pretty much covered everything I already have. Um, yeah, um, undo. You can, I mean, let's see. Let's uh, clear. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've cleared it by mistake. We can put it back. That's easy peasy. Oh, no. No, I've cleared it again. No. Then, there. The, the orange line, obviously, is a visual rep representation of what drum we're on. So, you can quickly see. So you can see what's empty and you can see what's full. That's very, very cool indeed. Your tempo. Now you can also, which is very cool, in your pattern page, you can have tempo set per pattern. So for instance, let's go with pattern. Let's pattern three here. Um, let's set that for 20. Let's set that for 30 BPM. But if I go back to pattern one, you'll see that it's still on 120. Pattern two is on 120. That could go down to say... I mean, this is not going to make any sort of threat, but you'll get the idea that the fact that you can... Let's play this. So you can do tempo changes as you go and then record them into Cubasis or whatever, you, whatever you're using. It is uh, inter-app audio. It's not an AU yet, but I, a developer is keen on, on making it uh, on an audio unit, an AUV3. So that's cool. <clears throat> there are a couple of errors with uh, Interapp at the moment, but there is a fix in the works for that right now as we speak. Okay, so the first bank here is the demo bank. That can't be overwritten. Okay, and it contains 16 patterns. It, well, it can be over. You can add to it, of course, um, and save it. Then you can copy and paste it to another one. But I'm not sure. I don't think you can, you can uh, erase it sort of thing. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. You can, um, but you could do. You could do. I thought you couldn't, but they must be. I must be thinking of another app. Anyway, this is uh, you'll in this bank. You'll find pretty much things you may recognise, and this will give you a great idea of actually what what can be accomplished. So it gives you an idea. You can do cool stuff uh, like this. By making a careful adjustments to your pitch control. It has a simply fantastic and super great uh, help overlay. So you got five pages there, one to five, and you just scroll along, and it explains exactly what all this does and how to how to use it. And it it has this for each each page. It has to help overlay like this. And I, it's a lovely thing. And that's I read that this morning. Five minutes, I knew exactly how it all worked. So brilliant, guys. So there you go. There's the MV08 or MV yeah MV08. Uh, drum machine based on one of the, the most iconic classic sound and drum machines of all time ever and one of the absolute best sound and drum machines that you can you still use all the time now if you want to <laughs> okay guys hope you enjoyed this please give the video a thumbs up um please subscribe and consider becoming a patreon um thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later